Hey, what's up? I decided to make this video about the cool things you can do on a Mac. Um, yeah, because a lot of, like, people say, I'm a Windows person, I'm a Mac person. And I, that's one thing I hate about the Mac, how it turns off like this, the thing. But, um, what was I talking about? Here's the things you can do that's cool on a Mac, on a Mac and I'm not sure if you can do this on a Windows. And I'm not talking about the shortcuts you can do, like if you, well there's one on here that I do a lot, I'll just do that now. It, to do a new window, like a new um, internet window, you would do command N, so if I, you hold it down, you do command first, then hit N, so command N, and that opens a new window, which is what I do all the time. Instead of going like, from on, if you're on Windows, you would like have to click off what you're doing, click on N Explorer again, and it's just, just um, easier to hit Command N and it opens a new window. So that's one thing. Um, the dictionary. Let's see. Um, here we are. I'm going to move the camera because you can't see what I'm doing. But I'm not like looking at a word. Well, I kind of am, but here. Um, let's see. You still can't really see my screen. Um, hold on a sec. Sorry. Alright, um, let's see, okay, this might work, one second, I gotta set my camera down so I can do this, um, there's my videos, okay, here's commercial, so let's say someone doesn't know what the word commercial means, I move my mouse over the word commercial, then I hit control, command, D, and that tells me what the meaning of commercial means. And it does it for any word. You don't even have to click on it. You just move the mouse on top of it. Which I think is really cool. Because then you don't have to go to like dictionary.com and like copy and paste the word. Then paste the word and it's just too confusing. So if you move it over it, it's a lot easier. than hitting three buttons instead of going to like three different websites. Um, next one is inverting the screen. Which is just basically making it negative. A lot of people know how to do this, but some people don't. So I will show you. You do control, option, wait, no fingers. Control, option, command, and then eight. And that puts out a negative. And then you can let go and it just stays like that. <clears throat> but you can just hit, do the same thing and make it go back to normal. Um, what's next? Minimize a window in slow motion. Basically, if you want to just, uh, Minimize a screen, you'll just hit the yellow button on a Mac. Uh, I don't know where it is on Windows. But you hit the yellow button and it goes like that and minimizes. But if you want it in slow motion, you put it over the yellow, hit shift, and then minimize it, and then it goes in slow motion. Same thing for opening it. If you want to open it in slow motion, you hold down shift and then click on it. And then it brings it up in slow motion. Um, screen capture. And this is my favorite thing. I do this all the time. <clears throat> Say there's something like specific on the screen I want to save, and I can't on Windows because it's dumb like that. Um, I can do that right here on a Mac, so I can show you even better. I'll have to move my camera again. All right, so. Let's say I want to save this whole screen, like with everything on it. Everything you see on the screen is what you see. So I will do Command Shift 3. And then on my desktop, there will be a picture of what I just took. Now, if I want to capture a section of it, like if I want to just record my upload or take a picture of my upload, it's right here. I will do Command Shift 4. And then this thing will come up. I don't know if you can see it on here. You can't. But it's like this cross thing instead of a mouse. And then you press down the cross thing. Drag it over what you want to save. And then let go. And then it should come up somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. And then that here's the picture of what I just took of all my videos. Well, that picture right there. Um... So that's those things. And since I have it right here, which is my next one, um, to record this screen, some people, what is it called? Um, 
I forget what it is on Windows, but on a Mac, you can use this thing called ScreenFlow. I'm not sure how to use it. I only, like, tried once, and it was too confusing. But it just records the screen. So you, if you have a Mac, download ScreenFlow, and it'll do the same thing. Because it's a lot easier than recording it from your camera, which makes it look bad, and then you'll get bad videos. So use ScreenFlow if you have a Mac. It works good. I have to take off because then we'll use two things. Alright, so thanks for watching. I hope you got some new um, knowledge on a Mac. Uh, and there's a huge list of keyboard shortcuts. I only talked about one, but on the Apple page, it. Um, has a giant list of it, so I'll post a com or a, not a comment, a notification somewhere in here telling you to like send it with a link to go to that page. So thanks for watching.